How's it going everybody? My name is Jason with Hunter's Friend and we're back today to look at the Stokerized HD3 Stabilizer. Um, now, one thing I always say up front about stabilizers when I'm talking about them is for the most part they're, they're a tricky sell because um, if you get a, a good stabilizer by a trustworthy company, a good manufacturer, and it's well made and you know that kind of thing, for the most part, at the end of the day, it's going to do its job. And by job, I mean it's going to, you know, when you, when you fire an arrow, if a stabilizer's not there, basically what happens is during the shot, the arrow takes most of the energy that the bow creates and takes it away from the bow, right? Uh, so any leftover energy that the arrow didn't handle and take away kind of scatters into the bow and it ultimately ends up, you know, at the front most part of your bow so if you don't have a stabilizer there um, to eat up a lot of that vibration that's where some of your hand shot comes from and sometimes noise and it can also rattle your sight pins loose and things like that so um, if as long as the stabilizer is there it's going to help cut down on that kind of thing plus it'll help balance the front of the bow out and things like that so um, with that said a lot of finding a good stabilizer that's right for you is just finding one that'll do that job uh, but at the same time is also cosmetically appealing to you personally as a shooter, looks good to you, feels good to you, and is all around what you personally want it to be. Um, so that that is where it gets a little trickier so as long as you've got a good well-made stabilizer and it fits the rest of the criteria as far as customizing and how you personally want it then you're set um, with that said this is a stabilizer that I really actually like it, it suits me and I think it looks nice and it definitely does a great job as far as actual performance and stuff goes so I wanted to give you a better look at it here real quick like I said, this is the Stokerized HD3. Uh, they call it that because these are called harmonic dampeners. As you see, they're actually a really creative idea to help cut down on vibe. The rubber pieces um, are what help absorb the vibration um, that I was describing earlier and, and other vibration. You know, it just helps cut down on all that stuff in general. So these are the harmonic dampeners, and there's three of them, hence the HD3. Uh, those being there, uh, Stokerized actually calls this, calls this a harmonic stabilizer, and, and as you see, it's the light version. Um, just solid. I mean, I can I can say that all day. It is a very solid uh, stabilizer. Very well machined. Not super heavy or anything like that. I mean, it's just all in all, it's it's done really well, especially um, from that side of it. Now, the rest of it, like I was talking about, does it look good? Does it feel good? To me, absolutely. Um, finding, you know, that that that's easy for me to say. Like, I, I definitely like it, so it'd work good for me. You may be different, so I just wanted to let you guys look at it. Um, I can tell you that this stabilizer will work great, so if it's something you think looks good and feels good and maybe the right part for you, by all means, definitely look into it. See if it is the right part for you. Um, if not, then no harm. There's plenty of other things out there. It's Part of the fun is finding a part for you that'll work for you. That's, uh, that, that's why there's so many options out there. But one more time, it is called the Stokerized HD. Um, this is the HD3.